Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a quick look at the four different brushes included with Headshot 2.0 and how to use them. The first one we'll look at is the Move Brush, which is the basic one used to modify the surface shape of your topology by selecting and moving vertices. The Move Brush has three sliders that can affect its performance, each with their own hotkeys. Radius changes the effective size of the brush, and you can easily adjust this by clicking and dragging the right mouse button. Intensity determines the movement strength of the brush and can be adjusted by holding control and clicking and dragging the right mouse button. Keep this value low if you want to make more sensitive or subtle changes. The last parameter is fall off, adjusted via holding shift with a right mouse click and drag. This determines the blend area of your move. A lower fall off value will produce a sharper effective area around the move, while a higher value will blend it more smoothly with the surrounding topography. With the Move Brush, if you activate Symmetry Edit at the top, you can perform symmetrical editing on your topology. Next up is the Smooth Brush. This can be used after vertex movement or individually to even out the surface topology for a less jagged result. When using the Smooth Brush, you'll generally want to ensure that Conform to Source Mesh is active. If this box is not active, then the smooth brush may have some unwanted results that don't conform to the normal head shape. Next up we have the clone brush, which is used to modify the affected area by using blend weights to conform the mesh closer to a selected head mesh source. Under Clone Source, you have two options. Neutral head mesh will cause the brush to conform the topology to the character creator default neutral base head, while AI generated head mesh will cause the clone brush to conform to the topology closer to the mesh that was generated by Headshot. Each have their own uses. This comes in handy if you've done some wacky edits and you want to progressively return your topology back to either the base AI generated mesh or make it more similar to the CC base head mesh. If I have neutral head mesh selected and use the clone brush on the current mesh, it will conform the various facial features closer to that of the CC base head mesh topology. You can see the slight difference when I click on Reset CC Mesh, which will return it back to the base AI generated mesh. You can Ctrl Z to undo and go back. In this case, I've messed up the ear topology and want to return it to something a bit more normal. This can be done quickly and easily with the clone brush using the neutral head mesh as you see here. The same effect can be utilized with the AI generated head mesh as a source as well, although naturally it will look slightly different from the neutral head mesh. Lastly, we have the project brush, which enables you to project the shape of the original head surface onto the CC4 head mesh creating a more accurate copy of the original head mesh. Here you can see that the topology of the source and AI generated meshes is slightly different. With the project brush, you can see the AI generated mesh is progressively conforming closer to the source mesh. A couple of quick tips to end off. If you are editing mesh border areas like those around the eyes, generally you'll want to have keep borders unchecked, as having it enabled will constrain the mesh in those areas so you won't be able to edit them properly. The best idea for areas like this is to have Keep Borders Deselected with Conform to Source Mesh selected, then once you've got the topology more accurate, you can enable Keep Borders and use the Smooth Brush to even things out a bit for best performance. That's it for this quick video guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.